Hey everyone, it's Megan, and today I'm going to be filming the long-awaited and extremely important, practically the reason why I even have this channel, I'm going to be filming my second top documentary film, documentary of the best documentaries that I've found in the past couple months. So before I get into this video, I really want you guys to realize how much time I've actually put into this video. You guys don't understand. This is nights and nights and nights of me searching through Reddit, top documentary films and Netflix trying to find the best possible, most educational and interesting documentaries. So I hope that you guys utilize this. Um, it's down to a concise, easily accessible list. So I really hope that you guys utilize these videos because they are really interesting and definitely worth, worth the educational little watch. So I'm going to start off with something that has altered my life and shaped my taste in music and shaped my way of thinking and the most prominent documentary out of all of these. And I'm going to start it off with Until the Light Takes Us. And it is a documentary on Norwegian black metal from the times of 1989 to 1993-94. Um, it taps on the evolution of black metal and it taps on the most important black metal bands like um, the, the most important Norwegian black metal bands like Mayhem, Burzum, Dark Throne. Um, it even taps on Bathory and a couple other bands and it mainly talks about like the church burnings and their mentality and their record shop and just about the area in Norway, Oslo, Norway at that time and how extreme the metal was and um, even musical production and everything about this documentary just sincerely shaped my music taste and it honestly took me to a point where I wrote a 14-page essay on Norwegian black metal and got an A on it. And everything, I just, it just changed my life. So I really hope that you guys give that documentary a watch. It's a little dry, but it's absolutely worth it. And now I'm going to be moving on to anything by Dan Bell. Dan Bell is a YouTuber on YouTube. And um, some of my favorites that I've seen in the past couple months are um, the most apocalyptic ghost town and it's the most toxic place in america that's a really interesting one a lot of death accidental tornadoes and just havoc wreaked in that area now it is a ghost town he walks through it. it's really interesting stuff and my personal favorite that dan bell has done is the baltimore's lincoln park scariest place in the u.s he does a little walkthrough at 3 a.m and god dan bell is just absolutely phenomenal and he does this really intimate walkthrough at about 3 a.m. by himself, walking through a very, very high crime and very haunted and terrifying park in Baltimore. So I hope that you guys give that a little watch. And he also has a dead mall series. And if you guys know me personally, you know my obsession with malls and and having that abandoned factor on top of all of that is just so juicy and delectable. So I really hope that you guys also scope out the Dead Mall series because it's so phenomenal. And now I'm going to be tapping on to something that actually happened extremely close to my house. And that was the rise of staple punk music. And that is the SoCal Punk documentary. There is a bar in Costa Mesa called the Cuckoo's Nest where practically staple punk music just rows, all in all. I'm talking bands like Operation Ivy, Dead Kennedys, Black Flag, Bad Brains, Minor Threat, The Germs, just all of that absolutely phenomenal punk rock music and it taps into the culture at the time and how the bar functioned and just everything about that documentary is so phenomenal so hope you guys give that one a watch. And then now I'm going to be talking about something that is extremely nerdy. This all originated on 4chan and that is the Sonichu and Christian Weston Chandler documentary. This one's really weird. Um, this one is about a guy on 4chan whose obsession with Sonic the Hedgehog led to infamy, havoc, distress. It's just so weird. Um, Christian Weston Chandler is a guy who has autism and was thoroughly obsessed with Sonic the Hedgehog to the point where it made him ruin relationships with people, ruined his entire family, all over his obsession with Sonic the Hedgehog and his comics. This one is just really interesting. Um, I would highly recommend that you guys watch that. And now I'm going to be tapping on 
the Training with the Foreign Elite documentary and the Soldiers in the Amazon. This one really shows how far you can push the human body, and as someone, me, who trains jujitsu, it was really interesting to watch a guy in his mid-40s give everything he had to try and join the French foreign elite. He ended up making it, but it was just really interesting, the process and the, the starvation, the physical labor, it was just... It was just insane, so give that one a little watch. And now we're going to be tapping on probably my second favorite out of this entire list, and that is Silk Road. Silk Road is a documentary on the deep web about the biggest black market when it comes to the drug industry in 2013. Um, successfully ran anon anonymously by a man for years and years, you could get your drugs discreetly, safely, and very easily with this deep web website. So I highly recommend that you guys watch Silk Road. It's super interesting. It goes into how the guy eventually got arrested and how he ran the website and how he actually kept it from his spouse for years. He kept it a secret from everyone, successfully made loads of money off of it and kept it a huge secret. So that was really interesting. Um, I really like learning about the black market in the deep web. Always interesting. Everyone likes it. So give that one a watch. And this one is something that I found recently in the past couple days, and that is excerpts from Marjo. And Marjo was around in the 1972, and he was around in the early 70s. And he is a Christian preacher back in the day that had millions and millions of people brainwashed by his enthusiastic preaching the Christian gospel, you know, spreading the word of Christ, but he was a young man and he blatantly gave up after a couple years with a huge Christian following and he publicly explained that everything he did was a huge joke. If you watch these videos of Marjo preaching to these huge brainwashed audiences, it is just hilarious. And then this video shows him expressing about how fake everything was. So that, I don't know, very, very interesting, um, very young, intelligent, and bubbly man. So watch that. And then the next one is a National Geographic little special. It's, it's, it's a short one, but it's definitely interesting. And it is inside North Korea's luxurious ski resort. So North Korea um, has beautiful slopes and a beautiful, luxurious ski resort. It's really interesting. Now I'm going to be talking about something that I forgot to mention in my last video, which is Whore's Glory, which you cannot find on YouTube. It is called Whore's Glory, and you can find it on Netflix. This is my favorite documentary on Netflix, and I love anything on the sex industry. And this one is a really raw documentary on the sex industry from three different places in the world that are Bangladesh, South Korea, and Mexico. So it shows, it takes a really nice look into actually interviewing the prostitutes, interviewing the clients, showing the place where they work, showing what hours they work, what they do when they work. It's very interesting. And also, I'm going to wrap this up with another one that I forgot in my last video, which is the Wesley Willis as himself documentary. Wesley Willis is an obscure musician from the late 80s, early 90s, who had autism, wrote extremely raunchy, provocative songs, and had quite the interesting character, not to mention his amazing artistic ability when it came to two-point perspective in drawing intricate and beautiful landscapes and buildings. Wesley Willis is, in, is a character, and even Henry Rollins is in the video, and taps on how much Wesley changed the music industry. And I'm going to wrap this video up with something that is not actually documentary related, but I'm just going to wrap this video up with some things that you guys should research or some YouTubers videos that you guys should watch. So my favorite YouTuber at the moment is Joe Goes. Um, he made that Joe Goes to Mud Fest, Joe Goes to Porn Fest, Joe Goes to the Insane Clown Posse Festival. Joe is just a, just absolutely fantastic. I hope that you guys go and watch Joe's videos. And anything on Insane Clown Posse is always really interesting. I love watching ICP's interviews. I love anything on the Juggalo Festival, Gathering of the Juggalos. 
I accidentally got into ICP low-key, so I hope that you guys watch something on ICP because it's really interesting and it's something I feel like ICP is really misunderstood because, you know, they dress up like clowns because, well, everything they do is a joke. And I wish that people would realize that, but they don't. So look into ICP, anything on Marilyn Manson, any of Manson's interviews, old interviews, new interviews, <laughs> music videos, anything on Marilyn Manson is absolutely fantastic. He's my god, he's my idol, he's everything to me, so... And The Undateables, really great British series on people with um, physical physical disabilities and learning disabilities, you know, dating. Super cute. Love that show. I love Onision. I love Linsor. And anything by Megadeth, any Megadeth live sets from the early 90s, I always find very interesting. So... That's going to wrap this video up, and I really hope that you guys watch some of these documentaries. They're so important to me, and I hope that you guys have a lovely evening, and with that, over and out.